black magic has me in its spell. Uh, hi. It's a very small person. I came to take some of this strange water back to the gnome village in the southern woods. Only gnomes can enter Tozis, but if you go mini, you can enter too. So yes, there is a town which we can only enter if we are small. And so we need to teach Minnie to someone immediately. Let's teach it to Diamond, why not? So yeah, there's a town just south of here we can find fairly easily, just wandering about. But first, we need to do... Uh, this. And we're all tiny now, with everyone having identical sprites except Art. Uh, for some reason. Now we should be able to find our way somewhere here. And also, Dash does also go Minnie. Uh, this is bad. We need to run. Now, when we are mini, our attacks are very, very weak. As I'll just show off here with club. We aren't able to actually wield our weapons. They don't go mini with us. Um, but I guess our clothes do? That's interesting. Uh, where is this town anyway? Come on, where is it? There it is. Finally found Tozus. Uh, the one thing that is unchanged when you are mini, you have very strong magic. And this is where the job system kind of first shines, and where it's first encouraged that you use it well. Because in this case, our only real good offensive option is going to be magic, so... Changing all of our party members to black mages or red mages... It's not a bad idea, if we want to do that real quick. I don't feel like changing jobs too often, I want to keep leveling each individual one up. And besides, we have three people who can do offensive magic right now as is. So instead, we're just gonna hold things as they are for now, and Club will have to just be a little useless for a while. Hey there. Uh, antidote, please. Uh, we have one, here you go. Uh, much better. It was probably something I ate. You helped a lot. Here's a secret. Go down those stairs and you'll be en route to Maralka Basin. And so we're given a new passageway to, I believe, where we need to go to get out of here. But first, let's explore Gnome Town a bit more. Maralka Basin, home of the Vikings, is at the far end of the tunnel that goes through the Muranos Range. Dr. Shelko knows where the tunnel that leads to Maralka Basin is. Wait, that guy's a doctor and he got sick? For, which you can cure with an antidote that you can just buy right here? Are you... are you kidding me? <laughs> Have you tried Gnome Bread? It has the same effect as the Sight Spell. Eat gnome bread, and then you'll see the world. Oh, really? What exactly is the deal with this gnome bread that we picked up from Sid's storage, anyway? No, seriously, I really don't understand how the gnome bread works. Anyway, enough stalling, let's head through the secret tunnel that the doctor opened for us. Oh, we have some mithril bracelets here. We can equip those with spade, I suppose. Even though, as you can see, our defense and our offense really doesn't make much of a difference now, does it? And here we go through the Tozu's Tunnel. I believe there are enemy encounters here. Um, in which case, we really have to rely on our own magic or just running away. In fact, you know what? I think that's all the that club is going to be doing for these battles. As such, I might not get a lot of experience points, but oh well. As long as we make it through, I think we'll be fine. It is kind of strange how the jolly music of Tozu's is still playing in this cave where there's enemy encounters. There's our exit. And I believe we can actually get out of mini form now? Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Just a few enemy encounters we can pretty much easily run away from. Here we have the Vikings cave. Hey there. Yar, Vikings we are, the king of the seas, or we used to be. I'm kind of confusing you guys with pirates right now, but oh well. The earthquake woke a great sea dragon from its sleep and it sunk our ships. The Enterprise survived, but we can't fight the dragon with one ship. Hmm. What can I do but drink? What's a Viking without a ship? It is so hard for me to picture these guys with any other voice but a piratey kind of voice. I mean, they all have the same pirate sprite from even the original Final Fantasy and like Final Fantasy 2. And they say Yar, like, come on now. Dash, why are you looking at me like that? Stop it. <laughs> What do you got to say for yourself anyway, Dash? We haven't talked to you yet. If you're mini, magic is the only way to fight. Yeah, yeah, we already know this. It's good that there's some source of that information in the game, though. Uh, this guy sells magic. Interesting. I don't know why you don't have your own magic store. I'm the oldest of the Vikings. The Nepto Temple is where the Nepto Dragon used to sleep. 
That earthquake sure disturbed the dragon. It's been acting violently ever since. Dash, you're kind of blocking the text there a little bit. <laughs> Don't ride a boat if you value your life. The sea dragons attack any ships that come near the cape. It must be the Nepto dragon, the great serpent for which the Nepto temple was built. <sighs> it's no use. We can't fight the sea dragon. If, by some chance, you can defeat the sea dragon, then the Enterprise is yours. How does that sound? It's a cannon. Doesn't have a lot of range, it would seem. Well, we can go and get this Enterprise, which as you may have already assumed, is the new, uh, ship of the game. And surely enough, we can ride it around. Um, but if we go right here, we are attacked by the Nepto Dragon himself. Well, let's give it a go. We didn't come this far to stop here. Let's give this everything we've got. Come on, everyone. Let's defeat this thing. Uh, oh, that had no effect. Oh, we, m we missed. Uh, oh. Um. Is it too late to apologize, Mr. Nepto Dragon? Run away. Run away. Please run away. Oh, no. Um, yeah, we really can't do much of anything about this guy. Similar to the Bahamut boss fight, only in this case, we can't even run away from it. We cannot go on the Enterprise and sail out of here until we deal with this dungeon so that we calm the Nepto Dragon down. Also, that Nepto Dragon is another reoccurring phase, that's Leviathan. As in the same one who swallowed us whole in Final Fantasy II. Here we are in the Nepto Temple. It's a statue of the Nepto Dragon. What if its eyes are missing and a hole is in its place? We could get in there if we go mini. Alright, looks like we gotta do this dungeon mini, just like before. Ah, <sighs> we're mini now. Let's go. We've entered through the statue's missing eye. And we're now inside the Nepto Dragon Temple. Can we unmini ourselves? Oh, no we cannot. We have to be mini for this dungeon. Alright. Um, which way to go? I don't remember, honestly. Let's just try going this way, I suppose. We have a chest here. Uh, a serpent sword. Well, we're mini, so that's not gonna do us much good now, is it? We're down another floor, and here we have the boss of this place. It's a giant rat! Or possibly just a normal-sized rat, who knows? I mean, we're mini. And so this is the mini boss we have to fight. So let's just go ahead and use all of our black magic, or as much of it as we can. We use fire, thunder, we use... Well... Should we use arrow? Because then we won't be able to use mini later to, to change ourselves back to normal. So instead, let's focus on curing everyone. And why don't you just guard yourself for now, club? That's probably the best you can do. Let's see how much this thunder does. Oh, it did nothing. Oh, good. <laughs> At least we did 11 damage with that. Oh, and it did 171 back, huh? That's not good. Can we land the thunder this time? There we go, it did a very mediocre amount. Okay, at least Diamond took the hit, that's what we can count on. Do we have any items we could use? Um... No, I don't think any of these would do us any good. Gnome bread! Uh, okay, Heart is now dead. Uh, that nothing happened with the gnome bread. Um... <laughs> This isn't going too well. Well, at least it d missed, and so did we. What a waste of a turn. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well, is it? Ow! Oh! Over a hundred damage. Yeah, we are not ready for that at all. I forgot that that was such a challenge ahead of us. Actually, you know what? I completely forgot about this secret we need to find here in the Viking Cave. If we go down here... We can actually find the secret passageway. And we have some chests down here we need to get to. Come on. Uh, where exactly is it? There it is. You gotta go around the whole thing. It's not as clear as it seems. But here we have Thundara, Fyra, and Blizzara. So the stronger versions of each black magic spell. So I guess I'll do some grinding, teach all of those to heart, and give that rat another shot. Alright, I'm back, and in that time I got us all to level 9, which means well over 150 health for everybody, 
level 3 magic, or at least two uses of it, for both heart and diamond. Unfortunately not for spade, when I did teach spade one level 3 magic that they just can't use right now. Oh well, we'll just leave it all to heart. Anyway, I'm gonna real quick save so I don't lose any of that, and we'll give this place another go, now that we're much stronger. I could do a bit more exploring and see what's down like the other hole, but I just want to get to the rat boss and get through this since we did have to do grinding for this bit, and it kind of brought everything to a halt. That's also why I'm gonna run away from these battles so that we don't use any of our spells on these guys. Uh, hopefully we can make it through though. Come on, everyone. There we go, thank you, Diamond. Oh, come on, that was everyone. Need to run away again. Uh, I suppose Diamond could kind of use healing, though. Come on, Club, you couldn't get us out of there? Heart, Spade? There we go, thank you again, Diamond. Alright, time to rematch with this mouse, and this time... This time will be different. Come on, Heart. 114 damage, that is more like it. Hey, at least Club did two damage this time. Ow! Oh! That did so much to poor old Heart. Okay. I don't know how much health this guy has, but he has taken a beating and he's still not going down. We need to heal up Heart right now. And we need to do another Blazaga, because that was very effective. Club, your attack, it really doesn't matter. Okay. There's a health. We're up to 78. Ooh, Diamond's hurt now. Okay, but at least Heart is getting cured. He's our main offense right now. Blazara. Another 98. It's still not dying, though. I'm looking forward to when Club is not mini, because then Club will be doing a lot of damage for sure. Alright. Thunder. 30. Okay, that's solid. Oh, these spells hurt so much. I just need to immediately go for the cures on whoever they hit. Another 68. Good, good, good. Another 60, and it's still not dead. Oh no, heart! Oh, that sucks so bad. Oh, what are we gonna do to hit it now? We're doing nothing. And that was a waste of a cure. Uh, the most we can do is fire with spade. I don't want to use this arrow because then we won't have any magic left to use mini. How much is this gonna do? Oh, it had no effect? You gotta be kidding me. Man, this is a tough boss, I would say. Nope, Club's dead. Club is super dead. Uh, 10 damage? Not enough! Come on, just die already! Let's see, we have one fire spell left. Oh, oh man. I have to use arrow. There's nothing else I can do, I have to. Fire? Please die. There we go! It just took eight more damage. <sighs> well, um, the good news is that Spade and Diamond's job level increased, and we obtained the Nepto Eye. Uh, do we have to walk out of here? Oh no. Oh no! No! We can't do this, we need to just run away still. Okay, Diamond is in the back row, which means Diamond takes much less damage. We should put the Nepto Eye back in the Dragon Statue, or else it'll stay angry. You're right, Desh, that's why this happened in the first place. And just over here... It's unfortunate that that boss experience couldn't go to either Club or Heart. Alright, let's use the Nepto Eye. You put the missing eye back in its socket. I am the Nepto Dragon. Thank you for returning my eye. It is my soul. Without it, my dragon form cannot be controlled. I will give you the Water Fang. With it, you can handle new challenges. And so we received the Water Fang from the Nepto Dragon. Uh, it's lost some of its light. Someone causing the Great Earthquake caused the light to fall deep. Please restore the light. Anyway, now we are able to take the boat, or the Enterprise rather, without the dragon... Uh, being an issue for us. Oh, uh, we still are many. Whoops. Imagine this, we get killed by bees on the way out. Oh my, we actually might. <laughs> Guys, please get out of there. Guys, uh, come on, Spade Diamond, please, please just run away. Please. <laughs> Thank you, Diamond. 
I don't want to die to bees on the way out from our massive adventure with a giant rat. Now we can use this spring down here to revive everyone. Very nice. And now that everyone is here, Diamond will go ahead and unmini everyone. <sighs> and now let's go stay at the inn with Desh and restore all of our health. It's all in a day's work, after all. <laughs>